I gave John the first level. And now he's adding objects and putting down the little border guide things. Pretty cool. The pass through areas and the part and the basically the platforms. Look at thing bounce. Look, we have a jumping mushroom. Do you guys have a jumping mushroom? I don't think so. Reminds me of uh, Pandemonium. That's it. Not the sequel. The sequel kind of sucked. The first one was really good. <laughs> Here's the. That's when the thing's supposed to come in. One more thing. It's 4:30 a.m. and me and John have been up all night working. I finished editing all of Gleeburn's audio, so that's done now. Hooray for me! Holy crap! Is this Bernard? What's he doing here? I'm here to hang out. This footage is in HD, so it can't be fake. I mean, like, it can't be, like, old archive footage. Stranger and stranger. But he brought cookies, so it's okay. Can I see? Yeah. I just can't sit down there. There's no space. Mm. Oh, look at that slurred sexy. Oh, wow, they actually mounted him. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, it's sliding away. Okay. That was weird. His eyes didn't do the. the I can't tell from my angle. Maybe does his eyes do the little thing? I think so. Yeah, I thought I just saw him pop open. So I was like, wait, did he do the little animation? I can't tell. And I can't sit down, so I can't see it straight on. The animation isn't smooth because of the way it is. Uh, no way to get around that. No way to get around it. Nope. He did the animation once again inside the sprites instead of letting the engine take care of. it. That's well, really smooth on the uh, playback on the GIF. Probably be smoother if I speed it up a bit. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Oh, uh, huh. Bernard? Let me see, I guess it doesn't do it. Let's see. What is Bernard doing? Drawing anime. See, that is why he doesn't work for us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's <laughs> horrible. Anime. It's Sean Rose. You did, a, you did a fan art piece. It's kind of cute, kind of sexy. Kind of not usual Bernard work. Because you were trying to learn something, weren't you, Bernard? Yeah. Trying to learn from the master. Frank Frazetta. That's right. The man who's now dead. Deader than a doornail. Deader than an irate gamer's career. I guess his career is actually succeeding. Check your. She's sexy. She's really tall. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Now, that's pretty good. Even we have to admit that. Look at it. It's so cute. Chugga, 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 chugga. That's cool. The only the issue is that It blocks floats right from the start of the animation. Oh, because of no. uh, where he's not flat at his jump? No. no? It's because of a way that I do the mount. Oh. What it does, well, this is the player's shadow. It aligns the player, the, the, um, it takes a sort point of the mount, which is down here, that's you know the little sort so things appear in front and behind each other. Lines it up with the um, you know shadow, and then sets Bullock's Z coordinate to a point where he appears where he's supposed to be on the seat. Oh. And and right when you mount him, it sets the Z coordinate and goes boom, and then his animation plays. Oh. And I can't, I don't know of any easy way to solve it. Other than make it go. Watch, watch. 
I can't watch. I'm at an angle. I'm oh. Just been hard. It gets stuff there. And, and this thing's there. And I'm like, there's no way my fat ass is going to fit there. Look at it. My hips are like childbearing status. If I could get him in focus. Okay. Watch what happens when I watch. Watch Bullock's shadow and his feet. Watch his feet and his shadow. Oh, now I can see it. See? Okay, I'm seeing. See what I mean? Yeah. It's like uh, it doesn't actually have natural arc. It just sort of gets right over where it needs to be and then drops. No. Yeah. I'm watching the shadow. Look, yeah, look. Right when I touch this blue box, what happens yeah. to his feet and his shadow? Oh, he pops up. Above the mounting. He pops up. He's like Listen. going right to where that blue box ends. Top part of the blue box. That's what's happening. Watch where his feet he, pops. He, he, Right on top of that, because that's where the edge of the box is, and it's right it's, there. It pops up, but it has nothing to do with the box. Alright. I don't know how to solve that. I don't know if I can hack it in with the current implementation. Bernard, you have faith in John's abilities. Of course. He can do anything he puts his mind to. With science on his side. Okay, he mounted. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Sweet. He pooped. And it worked. He swallowed, and he pooped. But didn't hit anything. So, the next question is, why did that happen? It sort of worked. You need to get fraps. So you knew what you were doing wrong? Yeah, yeah, it was just a scripting issue. I jump on the go. So here it comes. Bite. Choo-choo. I can still... Boop. That's cute. But, um, so here's a Biting. missing. Yeah. Awesome, that works. Mm -hmm. There we go. Looks so, good. So if he hits the cobalt, so... Yeah, screw that. Um, what I did is Maybe I added... Whew. Oh! That sucked, almost broke my okay. Added um, some new abilities to our animation scripting language. And to be a real... Basically, real um, I added flag support so you can set a flag and then check if it's set it's just a simple you know boolean thing flag is set or it's not mm -hmm. and so uh when he does the bite he um in frame five if the attack misses and it plays the bite miss mm -hmm. in frame eight it'll set the flag battle slug bite to true and it'll play bite chew okay. now the thing is we don't want the player to um have the issue where it's so what where they where they chew and swallow during the middle of a battle. Yeah. So inside battle slug and inside of the inside of the bite chew animation, it specifies an on attack button play attack. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so here's the bite. So on, so on frame eight it sets the flag battle slug bite to true. It goes bite chew. So you're if you're chewing, if you press the attack button, it goes back to bite. And um, you know, if you if you hit something, it plays the chew, and if it, once it finishes the chew, it goes to swallow, and then it goes to poop. And so, um, in swallow, it sets the um, you know, the bite flag off, because you know, so swallow and it does the poop animation. And eventually, and so that the poop will be a cute little projectile. Mm -hmm. And so this system lets me allows it. So if you Tap, and it bites. It sets the flag to true. It plays the chew, and then you bite again. So you see, so um, you attack again. It goes back to the you know the bite animation, but if you miss this time, it goes to bite miss. And inside bite and miss on the last frame, it goes if flag set, battle slug bite, and play bite swallow. And so it remembers that it had previously ate something and so it finishes the chew and swallow. Awesome. So I'm taking it science be praised. Excellent. Actually this should go to bite chew. My bad. 